Oil, or black gold, isn't the only valuable natural resource that's buried underground. A landowner can strike blue gold if there's a basin of fresh water under his or her property. But what if a city wants to extract and divert all the groundwater out of a basin under a person's property? The court in Higday v. Nicholas looked to the reasonable use doctrine to determine the limits of extracting groundwater. Paul Higday and neighboring landowners owned over 6,000 acres of farmland near Columbia, Missouri. The farmlands were located above a large freshwater basin known as the McBain Bottom Basin. The landowners used water from the basin for agricultural, farming, and personal needs. The city of Columbia, which had been growing steadily since the 1940s, needed to find a new water supply to support its growing population. In 1966, the city approved a plan to create a municipal water supply system that would extract over 11 million gallons of water a day from the McBain Bottom Basin. However, the refill rate of the basin was only 10.5 million gallons a day. As a result, the planned extraction would eventually drain the basin. The water would be pumped out via wells that the city would build on small plots of land that it purchased above the basin. The water would then be transported miles away to Columbia, where it would be sold and used exclusively by the city and its residents. Higday and the other landowners sued the city through its mayor George Nicholas and claimed that the extraction plan would turn the farmlands into arid land. The landowners wanted a judicial declaration to hold that the city had no right to extract water from the basin that would be used elsewhere. The landowners also sought an injunction to prevent the city from extracting the water. The city filed a motion to dismiss the case, arguing that the common law rule of absolute ownership gave the city the right to withdraw an unlimited amount of water from the wells located on the city's small plots of farmland. The trial court granted the city's motion and dismissed the case. The landowners appealed. 